What's up guys? It's been over a year now since we quit our bodybuilding transformation. If you weren't up to date on that, from October 2019 to December 2020, I jumped back into working out. I had made a few fitness videos prior to that that weren't so well received because, you know, I looked like a skinny twerp despite having worked out in the gym for almost 10 years, but you know, that was five, six, seven years after I stopped working out and I figured muscle memory was an easy way back. I thought I could grow my YouTube channel, my businesses by incorporating some fitness videos and looking the part. I'm not saying I had the best natural physique, but you know, I look good enough that I think my channel should have grown if it wasn't so censored. So over the course of that year, I built a decent amount of muscle, shared my bodybuilding ideas, what I was eating, eventually launched my workout course, Maximum Volume Hypertrophy, I don't even remember what I called it, uh, basically a full body routine every day using incredibly high volume, moderate weight with short rest times. Now, I don't know, you know, if gyms weren't shut down because of you know what, <laughs> the timing of my bodybuilding being horrendous, you know, obviously no one cares as much about fitness with what's going on in the world. I really don't know if, if things would have been different. Either way, channel didn't grow. I felt horrible eating so much food, working out over an hour every day. I wasn't sleeping. And the funniest part of the whole transformation is that people went from making fun of me, you have no clue what you're doing, da, 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 to accusing me of being on steroids. I won't go too much into that. I've made videos with my thoughts on performance enhancing drugs. The last bodybuilding video I did, ending my transformation, I talked more about it. Overall, the point is that I wasn't benefiting whatsoever from being muscular, business, personal, whatever you want to say. In the end, I did pay that professional videographer to make the workout course that we still have on frank-stefan.com. But you know, I basically broke even, did come out with a nice photo shoot on the beach that we have on the main website as well, but that's really it. Welcome to my maximum volume hypertrophy routine, where I will go over the training principles I've developed from over 15 years of experience in the gym. Since this is a physique update video, I didn't lose as much mass as I thought I would, mainly on my chest and back and arms. And yeah, I mean, I probably did lose about 10 pounds of muscle, but compared to what I put on, I can't complain too much, you know, I never really worked out my legs and you know, my calves didn't get much smaller, but I, I did lose a decent amount of mass. I'm not nearly as muscular as I was. And keep in mind, in most of those, you know, bodybuilding videos, you get a pump pumped up. I didn't get pumped up at all today, so it might, might even be more deceiving. I did not lose any weight. Like, I think I'm still around 160 pounds. Uh, I think I was a little more at the end of the bodybuilding transformation, but for the most part, I just lost a little bit of muscle maybe put on a little bit of fat. So I've definitely tried to branch out of my comfort zone and be creative since I started YouTube in 2016. I mean, almost six years now. And it seems like the amount of effort I put in, it just doesn't seem to matter. I'm not in the club. They don't want people finding out about my YouTube channel. I even tried doing uh, the Normie Burger reviews, stuffing my face till I was sick, and that basically flopped. I didn't really think they would censor that channel that much. And the intent was to bring some viewers from there to here, not just have some of my viewers watch those burger reviews. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking me to talk about current news and events. Although I want to, I stopped after seeing how many views I got, you know, some videos were taken down. I basically can't talk about anything anymore. I can't tell the truth about, you know what? <coughs> they just made it against the community guidelines to talk about climate change. And those are the main answers to just about everything in the news right now. Since I'm not allowed to go against that mainstream consensus, I don't bother talking about it. You know, I've had those videos taken down just reading Senate bills word for word. You know, official gov government documents. I mean, all I basically do is say everything is fake, the mainstream is a bunch of lies, everything you've been told your entire life is fake, history is fake, no government body or agency has your interest. The government really does like to play stupid. Oh, we don't know. So. They know every single thing going on. This has been planned for thousands and thousands of years. 
and the sheep will line up like cattle to a slaughterhouse. Everyone just watches the news, listens to fear monitoring on social media, yet has no idea what's actually going on in other countries. For the most part, everywhere is the same right now, but if people keep believing all of the crazy lies, stuff they put in the news, and it happens for another 5, 10, 20 years, the lies become the truth. I even saw on Twitter last week like a whole page announcing, Oh, the Great Reset was real, but here's why it's a good thing. Oh yeah, <laughs> women are now infertile and children are dying of heart attacks, but here's why it's a good thing. It's fucking ridiculous. And there's a lot of looming negativity from all of that stuff going on in the world. Especially when you know politicians, celebrities, actors, those people in the club. They're having fun, they know the truth, they're doing their own thing, underground parties while everyone else is miserable and suffering. Business-wise, you know, I've been trying to grow, offer more products, reach out to more suppliers, market better. Yeah, I'm getting torn apart at all ends, guys, whether it's vendors increasing prices, Con Edison gouging my electric bill for $2,000, getting hit with thousands of dollars in legal and custom fees when trying to import stuff. I don't think I'm going to stick it out for more than another year if I'm not making money. You know, guys, I, I say it like every other week, I'm losing my mind living with my fucking parents. We started Frankie's Free Range Meat in 2019. I fired my rotten business partner last year, who, by the way, has two very nice million dollar houses and apartments in New York, and I'm still getting jerked around. On the possible bright side, there's a lot of money in Biden's infrastructure bill for meat processing, I think literally a billion dollars. Now, yeah, I'm assuming that money is for the people in the club it's already accounted for, just like the PPE loans, the asshole secret society members buying Ferraris, while I'm getting screwed over by my slumlord uh, landlord. You know, at this point, I expected things to be much different. Having enough money to pay someone to film YouTube for me, being a little happier overall. You know, I, I can't keep making these other companies hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars. And these scumbag influencers making millions off plagiarizing my ideas and videos is just icing on the cake. I could probably do a whole video on how they literally have teams of people watching my videos, other people's videos, stealing their ideas, using it to market their own bullcrap. Better go buy some collagen water at Whole Foods before they have to throw it out. So that's really it today, guys. I just wanted to do kind of a physique update in general, give you guys a couple reasons why I stopped talking about certain things. So if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe me next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining, guys. Check out frank-stefano.com to support me further. And I'll see you for tomorrow.